Howdy, everybody. Uh, this ain't my favorite. Uh, I probably got some catching up on some videos, but I said this, um, this, uh, never had this Long Island iced tea. Thought I'd give it a go, give it a try. Premium 10 cocktail, 10% ABV. Um, see what it's about. Not really a big sweet drink person. I don't like sweet drinks. But, hey, it is what it is. But it ain't what it ain't. Moving forward, um, probably going to taste, yeah, I think it's under $2 for a can of this stuff, but I don't know. I'll give it a whirl, see what it's like, and it's probably typical, average. Good snack, M&M peanut butter, or peanuts, with peanuts, M&M with peanuts. You know something? I was at the store, and as I was buying this, I was contemplating whether I should get peanut butter cookies. Now, they sell those little peanut butter cookies in the package, and I figured, I reckon they would be good with this, you know. But, from the opposite side of the, from the way opposite side of the, coast I ended up going with the Plateau Tabasco season which I like more I like this better than the habanero tit for tat that ain't too bad I mean it's definitely drinkable it's, um, it could be worse it could be better it's 10% ABB, like I said, and they, uh, they're on Facebook here, um, you know, I, uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, you know, I wanted to give a shout out to Jonathan Gilliland getting a new cat, you know, and he's a special, special spirited guy, he, he cares about my cat, or my mom's cat that recently passed away, which is very awfully kind of him, special, just a special, unique and special, which I admire, you know, certain aspects of that. Now, you know, and I also wanted to say, hey, give a shout out to uh, um, Backyard Planking, BB Guns. This is a Bear River. BB Guns got to step it up, though, the companies and shit. I mean, this looks fake. I mean, this looks like a BB gun, but BB Guns, see, this is a BB gun, and it's nicely built. Um, And hopefully Backyard Plinking is watching this. And what I like about it, this comes out pretty simple. It's CO2. You open that CO2 cartridge right there. And then you just put it in there. And the cylinder moves. Cylinder rotates for six BBs. Um, you cock the hammer all the way back, or it's double action. There are fixed sights. And this is a well, yeah, it's not adjustable. And they it's scope mountable. It had that thing on top, and I unscrewed it, took it off. You know, it's uh, pretty nice and ergonomically fits in your hand as a BB gun. It just, it just really snugly fits your fingers right on the grip. You know, to make for comfortable planking, backyard hitting cans and stuff of that nature. It'd be a fun gun to go out there and shoot some cans. You know, at least it ain't loud like a real firearm. It ain't loud like a real gun. Shit, even a 22. So you don't even, you for real, don't even need hearing protection. Now when you're getting the 40 cows and up from a 40 cow, yeah, hearing protection you probably do need. Um, I'm about to break into this. Time for a, a little Slim Jim. You know, I went down the subway today. I got, I was going to get a roast beef sub. Man. This is a lot better than the habanero. It ain't as on the spice level. It's not as spicy as the habanero. It don't irritate you as much as the habanero. Now, if I was like plum drunk out of my mind, yeah, I'd slap those habaneros now and give a shit, but 
if I was drunk enough, but man, I went to Subway though. I was getting the roast beef. I got the steak sub up there or down there. I got green pepper, onion, tomato, lettuce, chipotle, southwest chipotle sauce, so, <coughs> salt, pepper. Um, on that cheese bread they have with uh, steak. I was going to get banana peppers or olives, but I didn't do it. Of course, I toasted it. I put American cheese. I, I could have picked provolone or pepper jack, but I went with the American cheese. Didn't get no pickle cucumber, no banana pepper, no jalapeno, and no olives, and uh, no spinach. Just green pepper and lettuce, huh? Tomato and onion. Salt, pepper, chipotle, Southwest chipotle sauce, and American cheese. And of course, the steak. It was like eight, seven or eight bucks for a foot long. Mm -hmm. But what I didn't like, the reason that I brought this up, I actually was making my sub, and granted, granted, her looks were nothing to write home about. Her looks didn't do her justice. So anyway, as she's making my sandwich, I see her. She has gloves on, of course, but she does like that real quick with her head. Then she comes back down. Man, I don't want her to sweat on my food. So, but I, I think it was like the bottom of the glove. So she didn't. So she was as she was rolling and cutting my sub. I don't think where she touched her head like this. I don't think it was like down here. I don't. I don't think it touched my sub. I hope not. I don't want them germs. I don't know what them germs have in them. Their sweat pores and their skin. That's kind of gross. That just kind of made me like, ugh, yuck. But I'm going to get drunk. I'm going to get buzzed. And I'm going to eat it later. Sometimes when I'm really, really, really drunk, I, I wake up the next day. I don't even remember eating my food. I'm like, what the fuck? But the food is gone. I'm like, where'd the food go? But I don't remember eating it because I'm so wasted and drunk. But it happens sometimes. This is the best flavor I've ever had. The Tabasco Slim Jim. Fantastic flavor. Not too hot. Just right. Gives you that little burn. But it's not too overpowering. I'm liking it. It's a mellow spice. Just that right heat that you need. Good flavor. Another thing, speaking of good flavor, I went down to the TJ's restaurant called TJ Country Restaurant. Man, they're famous for their breakfast food, the Barnyard Buster. Sausage gravy, eggs, whatever. Man, I got the meatloaf there with dressing. Oh, best dressing I ever had in my life. It was like stuffing, but they call it dressing. I got the vegetable medley, mm. snap peas, carrot, squash, or zucchini, it was squash, and uh, some other vegetable. Man, it was good broccoli, I think. It was good as fuck. And then they put on there the gravy on the mashed potato and on, I think on the meatloaf, brown gravy, and I got a biscuit with it. Could have got the cornbread or the, um, or a roll, but I got a biscuit. I wish they had muffins, but. John got the cornbread though, but John always gets the liver onions all the time, same thing. But my god, the meatloaf was fucking good. Mashed potatoes could have been a little hotter, but they were good. Gravy was good. The dressing was the best dressing I ever had in my life. Vegetables were good. I got all that, you know, for like nine bucks after tax. Good, good food. What can I say? Hopefully be starting a new job soon. It's time. Time for a different job. Mm. Yeah, it is what it is. When one door shuts, another opens. And the beat does go on. You know, life kind of sucks, but you make it. It is what you make it, in a sense. You know, I'm having a good time. You know, this beer's cheering me up a little. 
despite considering my, considering things in my life. This helps cheer me up a little bit. Despite a lot of other things that are bad, but this seems to help come in handy. And you know, they make this stuff legal, you know. Psycho, you know, other drugs. This is supposedly a depressant, but then they have drugs called operas that are supposed to make you feel way better. But it's crazy because it, it it hurts your health. They so they say so they say these things hurt your health. But why does it put you in a better mood? It makes life less boring. Put it perks you, it lifts you a little bit, heightens your alertness awareness a little bit, you know. But it, you know they call it a downer though. It's a depressant. But of course I would rather have an upper. But I mean. See, the government does this shit on purpose. They want to get people drunk and sick and messed up so the hospitals get paid more, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. It's all a scheme and a setup. They know it. They know what they're doing. They're not legalizing marijuana because they know all the people are going to get rich. It's all about money. Obviously, it's money. It's corrupt, crooked, corrupt, and it's asinine, and it's messed up, but that's the world we live in. Ran by the top dogs and the big cats and guess what I bet they drink and probably do more than that <laughs> but you know it's crooked it's shady and crooked and you know uh, you know it's effed up man but you know it's uh, I want to say some other things shiesty 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 and it's a dirty business. They and they put all the rules and uh, policies. Uh, you you have to get this. You have to get that to get this to pay for this, which is unnecessary. Just so the government and the senators and all the lawmakers and all the people that are already wealthy can get more wealthy. That's all it is. It's all a, trust and believe. It's they know what the hell they're doing. You know they. They ain't dumb. They're the ones that run this uh, economy in certain demographic areas. They know what the hell they're doing. It, it doesn't make it right, but they're getting away with it. Huh. Oh well, we live in a we live in a shitty, you know, society in a sense. It's depressing, and maybe where you guys live, it's not the same thing. Maybe it's different. Maybe it's better. Probably is better. I don't know. I've been here my whole life. Cheers. Oh well. Ah. That's it. Got me a 12 pack of Bush. About to crack me open a beer. Saturday night. Feeling pretty fair. Middle of the road, all right. Later, guys.